Okay, so I tried this video like a billion times right now, and it's been too long. And I know people don't like long videos, so I'm gonna try and make this short. And I already wasted 10 seconds saying that, so let's get on with it. Okay, so I saw an article in The Guardian. And it was, it had this <clears throat> lady, and she had, what is it? She was called too fat to be a plus size model. And the reason why, in my, in my opinion, why I would say to her, you should not be a model, just period, is because you're not in shape. You're not toned. I can, like, I don't know if you just had a baby or whatever, but you have excess skin. And right now, it looks like a gunt because it, the skin is hanging over your crotch. Your belly button is all stretched out. And your stomach is all, <laughs> just, it's just, like, wavy and convoluted, kind of. It's, I'm, I'm making it sound like it's some kind of horror story, like she, but it's, like, it's, it's not that bad, but it's just not model you know she looks average she looks average like any other white person you see on the street i mean she has blonde hair she has nice skin it's flawless i didn't see a blemish but that could be photoshop i mean maybe her stomach is photoshopped too maybe they did that but i don't know to me she didn't look like a model but that's besides the point the point is she's 5'11 she weighs 12.5 stone i don't know what that means and in u.s pan sizes she's or sizes, she's a size 11, or no, a 12 to 14, which is about average, or a slightly less than average. Now, um, what else was I going to say? Okay, usually the modeling industry looks for girls between 8 to 10, and the modeling industry, anyone over a size 6 is considered plus size. So, okay, tidbit about me. I haven't been a size 8 or a 10 since I was in grade 6. I was 5'6", and you know what? You may think, wow, you're fat. But, no, um, well, I'm 5'9 now, and my pant size is an, an uh, 11. It's because I have hips and an ass. I'm sorry, okay? That's the only size that will fit, and it doesn't even fit well, because they design pants. Is it, I mean, I don't even mean it to sound racist. They design pants for white people and Asians. White people and Asians. You wonder why black men can't pull up their pants? It's because their ass won't fit in it. Because... <laughs> no, if you see my brother, he actually has an ass, and that could be part of the reason. But then again, you could always wear your pants baggier as a guy. As a girl, it looks awkward. Okay, so I can tell you right now, my pants, they're loose in the legs. They're tight in the hips. And there's too much space in the back. And when you sit down, everybody sees half your ass. And when you put on the belt, it kind of, like, buckles on itself in the back. It looks like, you know, like a garbage bag when you tie it in a knot and you see, like, those, the stresses, I guess you could say? It's like that. Except on our pants. It just, we just don't look flattering in jeans because they don't make it for us. They don't. And it's all because there's this European standard of beauty. I'm sorry, but many, I mean, <clears throat> I shouldn't be saying that I'm like the typical black woman or anything like that, but I have curves. I have, I have curves. And your notion of size is very limiting to me. Because that means that even though I'm in shape, me being a, a size 11 and everything, am I? Yeah, I'm a size, <laughs> um, me being a size 11, I'm in shape. But you're calling me fat. You're calling me more than fat. I am two times plus size. So that must be obese. So that means me and Gabrielle Sabade, we're in the same category. And I take offense to that. I take offense to that. Okay? Because you have already told me I am too dark. My face is too African. And now you're telling me I'm too fat. That my curves, my body type is not appreciated here. So... I guess I'm the ugliest of the ugly. That is what you are telling me. That is what you're telling me. I mean, I, I, I don't think I'm that fat. Let's see. Can you... No. I am not that fat. I'm wearing the baggiest shirt that I have. It's my brother's shirt. Oh my goodness. And it just says my school. Okay. <laughs> or my, my old high school. Ignore that. <laughs> God, I'm gonna, uh, I hope nobody from my school 
or my old high school ceases because I don't know if my school wants to be a part of this video so <laughs> yeah but <clears throat> yes um on another note I'm going to go on a weight loss journey I said that in another video, but this time I'm serious because I'm I'm too fat. I'm too fat. That's what the world keeps telling me. And you know what? While I'm at it, I should buy a bucket of skin bleach. You know what? That, that's not even going to be strong enough. Why don't I just go and grab some liquid detergent and just slather that on my face? And maybe, maybe this society will appreciate me because there seems to only be one type of beauty. And that's light. And that's skinny. And I'm just not that. And you know what, while I'm at it, why don't I go get a nose job? Or you know what? That's extreme. Why don't I go darker? Because we have a lekwak. You have to be at an extreme. So, a lekwak, she is beautiful, but she's like the darkest of the dark. And you know why she succeeds as a model? Because she's tall and she's skinny. A lot of Sudanese actually are tall and skinny. But <clears throat> that's beside this point. They also have flawless skin. But yeah. And, actually, a lot of Sudanese that I've seen, they have Caucasian noses. Same with Angolans. But they have full lips. They have full lips. And that is accepted by society, because Angelina Jolie made it cool to have full lips. Okay? So, she did that. <clears throat> These are okay. But this, this is not okay. I'm, wait I'm waiting for somebody to make this cool. Okay? Somebody to make this cool. And you know what? This too... Because it's not okay. It's not okay. I need to, I need to pour a sodium hydroxide, um, just all over my hair, all over my scalp. Just get it, like, straight, straight. And you know what? Why don't I bleach it, too? Because, you know, it's, there's, there's nothing I can do. They just, they just don't think I'm pretty. They don't. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I know right now I seem like a psychopath, but it's just an exaggeration. This is what goes on in young women's head, except especially young black women. You have the whole world telling you you're ugly on a regular basic basis. And you know what's funny? The whole world is throwing a pity party for this woman who should not be a model in the first place. Where's the pity party for the black women? Huh? Why aren't we marching in the streets saying, why aren't there any dark skinned models? On the, on the cover. Why do I have to put out a rap album and um, sleep with a whole bunch of people and be half naked for anybody to even consider my beauty? Why is that the only representation of my be beauty, okay? I mean, Bria Miles, Bria Miles is the closest thing that looks to me. We, we, share, we have a similar physique, except she has a Caucasian nose. <laughs> and that makes people comfortable. I mean, it makes her comfortable in the sense like, okay, that's familiar, but her dark skin also makes her unique or exotic, I should say. So, yeah. How come how come she's she's a video ho? Can you tell me a black model that looks like me? That looks like me. That is not in a hip hop video that is not a celebrity, that is just a model. I don't think you can do it. And I'm not, I'm not including King or Hustler or Double XL or whatever. Although I don't know if I could even make it there too. Because now black people have a complexion issue. Okay, I might be too dark. I am too dark that even the darkest of black men do not find me attractive. And I'm not talking about all of them, but I'm talking about a lot of them. Even my own brother, my own brother, he, oh man, it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's enough to make you want to cry. I'm not going to because I'm confident in the way I look. I do know I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight. <clears throat> but, yeah. Yeah. I don't, 
I think I'll, I think we're done here. <laughs> if you guys want to comment, I need to get Skype. You guys need to get Skype, so I can actually have a conversation <laughs> instead of just sitting in this room. Cause that's why. Cause to me, this doesn't feel natural. I feel like I'm getting into character to perform in front of this camera because I can tell you for a fact this is not actually how I conduct myself. But yeah.